you know, the stuff with Nancy Pelosi is, is very interesting. You know, we all know that Donald Trump called for the National Guard on January 6th. Yep. She's sitting there and she's either baffled or she's lying. The more I think about this, you know, I, I truly wonder if she was also lied to. Like, I'm just going to play devil's mm. advocate here for a minute. Okay. Look, you know, she's... She's been anti-Trump. She's as anti-Trump and as anti-January 6th as one could potentially be. But having worked with multiple members of Congress since January 6th and having tried to get multiple members of Congress, like, like these Republicans you just mentioned, to do more, yeah. the one thing that I have noticed unequivocally in every office is that every office, whether you're a Republican or Democrat, or Democrat, is dripping with Ivy League liberals who hate this country and who hate Trump. And in many circumstances, when I have tried to get effective things done with congressmen, I have had to either deal with these people and run through them or get stopped by them right. like the police or go directly to the congressperson themselves. So I'm saying that to say this, you know, investigate Nancy Pelosi, to your point, bring her up in front of a Senate committee hearing, a judicial committee hearing, do it but also bring in the people from her office. I cross-examined her chief, her chief of staff in Richard Barnett's case. She lied on the stand. She perjured herself. I caught her dead to rights in front of the entire court. Oh. It's in the court record, right? Yeah. She knew it was coming. She walked to work on January 6th. I said, why'd you walk to work if you didn't know anything was going to happen? And she lied. She lied. And we caught her. It was a big moment in that trial. Unfortunately, it didn't matter for Richard. But I'm wondering um, how much she knew. She probably knew to some extent, but I bet you the people in her office the unelected knew a bureaucrats, whole lot more. The one we're always talking about that we got to get rid of, the unelected bureaucrats who are actually pulling the strings in D.C., the puppet masters. Well, we have the bigger ones, the global elites and the George Soroses. But I get what you're saying. You're talking about the liberal minions that are in the halls of Congress every day running the show. Because let's be real. The elected folks every two, four, six years, they go out, they give speeches that somebody writes for them. They're the talking heads. They shake the hands, kiss the babies. But then, do they write their speeches? Do they write their policy? Do they go out and actually talk to people a lot? No. A lot of the America First folks that I know and trust do. But most of the Demis and most of the Rhinos do not. It's the bureaucrats running the damn show. When you juxtapose what he has done against the crimes of all these other people, especially during the George Floyd riots or oh. Dylan Shakespeare Robinson yeah. who threw the love. Molotov cocktail into the third precinct, right? They didn't get this kind of time. So... If, he, if, if he's getting four years, let's accept the allegation. This is the guy who, who led the charge and he entered the Capitol first through a window. If he gets a four-year sentence, that should mean that everybody else who followed him should have a lesser sentence. Right. But we know that that, that is not what has happened. Good point. Um, this has been the over-prosecution, over-sentencing of all these people, not because of what they did, but because of who they are and what they believe in.